We are delighted to be joined by Justice RM Loda, the man behind this operation cleanup, sir. Many congratulations for recommending the changes and then for the Supreme Court to ask the BCCI to implement all your suggestions. But now you have to ensure that the BCCI implements these orders in the next six months. Fair to say that the tough task begins now? No, I don't think uh, because now once the Supreme Court has approved the report by and large, uh, BCCI on its own uh, must be able to implement. If there is any problem, uh, we are there to help them. But should be sh should be easy now. Yes. Okay, you say it should be easy now. Okay, despite all the bad press that comes BCCI's way, one has to accept that uh, they are the best-run sports body in the country and the richest too. Why did it need so many wholesale changes as you recommended, sir? No, it is true, BCCI is doing good job, but uh, there is no transparency, no accountability. Uh, the same people continue to administer the game for decades. So, uh, uh, there has to be, you know, transparency in the administration of game. And then uh, we thought uh, professional uh, management is required and uh, management should be separated from governance. So the entire structure that has been suggested by us uh, separates day-to-day -day management uh, from the governance and day-to-day uh, -day management uh, is now given in the hands of professional people. Okay, sir. For anyone who has covered or organized sports in India, they will agree that running any sporting institute or event isn't easy. Uh, what with so much red tape everywhere? Why then would you want no ministers or babus in the board? Uh, whatever said and done, these men of power can get files moving and running sport in our country becomes easier then. No, no, it will definitely benefit, you know, ministers have many important things to do and surely uh, a game like cricket or any sport uh, needs uh, full time. A minister is not able to give full time. Uh, so is the case with bureaucrats. Uh, it's not that only ministers and bureaucrats uh, have the things, uh, you know, b b b b moved on. Uh, it's, it's, you know, if you are doing uh, b the things in the right way, uh, everyone will help you. So ministers and bureaucrats, because of their very obligations uh, okay. with the government, mm. cannot give sufficient time. Okay, okay, fair point, sir. Now, do you believe that 70 is the right retirement age for an administrator? I ask you this because we've had some fine cricket administrators like Mr. Dalmia, Mr. Salve and Mr. Dungapur uh, who have done a fine job running the game even after they were 70. No, it's, it's because, you know, the uh, game is always actually wanting new people to come in. Uh, if people at the age of 70 continue to administer the game, uh, how will uh, the younger generation will enter the administration of the game? Uh, so, so uh, you know, it has to be a good, good, good combination of uh, young and old. And if people who have attained the age of 70, they have given so much to the game, if they retire gracefully, it is good for the game. Okay, sir. Finally, before we let you go, uh, you had recommended no advertisements between overs during a live game. The BCCI opposed it. The Supreme Court today chose not to implement this particular idea. Your thoughts on that? No, that's okay. I think uh, uh, the Supreme Court has taken a call and we all must respect that. 